All right, everybody. Now it's time for scrubbing. Okay. Well, what I'm going to show you is the, the way I've been taught. Well, you know, and I'm, let me preempt this by saying, you know, scrubbing has changed a lot over the years. When I was uh, first learned how to scrub, I won't tell you what year, but anyway, I had to scrub for 10 minutes. That's and most of your uh, the older doctors would tell you that was the way it used to be 10 minutes. Now it's a five-minute scrub. The first scrub of the day is five minutes. After that, uh, the rest of the scrub should be about three minutes. But the first one should be about five minutes. So before I scrub, the first thing I'm going to do, remember we talked about jewelry. I'm going to make sure all of my jewelry, jewelry is off. I'm not going to wear a mask during this part because I want, I want you to be able to understand everything I'm saying. So like I said, I take my jewelry, if I have rings or whatever, and I take it and I put it in my top pocket or I put it in my bottom pocket, wherever is most comfortable that I know I won't lose it. Okay, that's number one. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a brush to use. We have three kinds of scrub brushes. We have um, hexachlorophane, we have betadine, and we have a new one that it just came out, I just saw it, and it's this one right here I'm going to show you. It's a very light blue, and this I think is for people that have uh, problems like with um, sensitive skin, and this is, they have this for them. And all these, of course, are latex free, okay? So once I've picked out my brush, if you're doing um, orthopedics, like you're doing implantations like uh, total hips, total knees, if you're doing it in urology where they do a lot of penile prosthesis, the, 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 the uh, scrub brush I like you really to use is the betadine, okay? But otherwise, most people, myself included, I use hexachlorophane, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do, and before I go on to that, I'm gonna talk about one other thing is there's a little thing that I know you've all seen, it's called Avagard. I'm going to show you that right here. Avagard. I don't want to see any medical students using Avagard. And let me tell you why. If you're using Avagard, you, that means you haven't even learned really how to do a proper scrub. It's very important for you to know how to do a proper scrub. You, the, the, per, the reason for um, Avagard is really, if you in um, numerous cases, you do your first correct scrub and then to move things along the Avagard. This is, done, this is based on friction. Scrubbing is not based on friction, it's based on soap and water, okay? So if you're fourth year, it's okay. Third year, I like to see all of you really using uh, scrubbing all the time, okay? Unless it's an emergency, of course, you have to get right in there. Then I'll look the other way when you use an avocado. Okay, so we've picked out our brush. As I said, I'm gonna use a hexachlorophene brush. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my brush ready. I'm gonna open it up. All right, don't laugh. I'm opening it up, okay? And I put in it right here. It's ready for me to use, okay? It's called degreasing. What that means is just, it's like, uh, just getting off like the basic, basic oils off your skin. Every sink has soap at its uh, at the sink side, okay? So the first thing you want to do is take a little soap. This this one happens to have a, uh, where it's operated by the name of this sink. Some of ours are, have buttons, it just depends where you are. I'm gonna take a little water, and of course I'm gonna turn the water off as I'm doing this, because we are green here in Tulane, we wanna save water, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just degrease, just like so, and when I take this off, I'm gonna run my hand in an upward position. Why do I do that? Because I want all the water to pour, flow downward to get it off, okay? I do it with the second hand, same thing. I'm going to shake that up a little bit and I'm going to turn this off, okay? Next thing that we do, and this is all in your operating room paper, is I'm going to clean my nails. If you use Avogadro, you have to clean your nails too. So that's the next thing we do. We clean every nail bit. And I know some of you, this part is a little difficult if you have no nails, okay? But you clean every nail bit out, all right? And that's what I'm doing here. Now, I'm not, for, in the interest of time, I'm not going to do both my hands, but I'm going to go ahead and show you. And I'm going to throw this in the correct receptacle, which is not the sink, but I'm doing that today. Okay. Third thing we're going to do is we're going to get our, so, our, get our brush nice and soapy up. Okay? Now, like I said, you want to turn that water off because what happens when warm water is running constantly? You have to go to the bathroom. So you do not want to start this process and have to stop and have to go to the bathroom. So turn the water off, being green and conservative, and you're gonna start. The first thing you, uh, to do a, a proper scrub is about, uh, the, for, on the hand area, because that's a, a part that's close enough to the body, close enough, excuse me, to the uh, surgical area, is 40 strokes, approximately 40 strokes. That means, and we start with our fingernails first. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do one whole arm. Now you'll see different people doing different things. Some people will do the hand, the hand, the arm, the arm. 
I think it's best really to do one whole side and do the other side, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start my briskly. Now everybody, not slow. Briskly, I'm going to be scrubbing my fingernails. Now how do I know I've done 40 strokes? One of the residents gave me a little tip, which I thought was very good, and I'll pass it on to you. Count to five. Not one, two, three, four, five, but one, two, three, four, five. When you say that fifth number, you'll have done about 40 strokes, okay? After we do that, we start on the outside of the hand, 40 strokes. We move into the inside, 40 strokes, 40. Every aspect of the hand must be done, of the fingers, 40 strokes, okay? And then I usually do my palm next, and I, as you see, I am using the brush part of the sponge. I do this briskly 40 times, and the 40 times on the top. Okay, now I'm ready to go up the arm. Another resident gave me a very nice tip. I have, normally what you should be doing, and this is the way I've taught it in the past, is you work your way up the arm. On the arm, it's a 20 to 30 stroke. So for that, I usually count three. I just say one, two, three. However, one of the residents told me that the longer the hexachlorophene, if you're using that stays on your skin, the better it is. So what we do now is I just do lightly, I give her a couple of brushes up, and then I start the process. So that way, the uh, soap has stayed on my arms a lot longer, and I get a better uh, sterilization. Remember, this is nothing is actually really sterile. We are just meeting the sterile uh, criteria. That's what sterility really means, that you are meeting the sterile criteria, whatever that happens to be, with uh, uh, flashing or whatever. So that's what we do. Remember, we only go to one inch, uh, one inch above the elbow. That's why you can't have long sleeves on or this. That's why you have to wear appropriate size scrubs too. You want to go one inch above the elbow. Now say I'm scrubbing right here and I'm talking. Rob, my friend Robin, is, she's at the next scrub saying, oops. She had me laugh and I dropped the sponge. What do I do? Well, if I don't have anybody, a good Samaritan coming by, I'm going to have to start all over. Okay, the same is said too, is if you're scrubbing and you're not paying attention and you hit, you hit something, you have to start all over. Okay, if you drop the sponge, and said somebody, and there's nobody, then you have to get a brand new sponge. Okay, so again, 40 strokes on the tips, on the, all aspects of the fingers, the palms and the and the uh, top of the hand. 30, approximately 30 strokes going down to one inch above the elbow. Okay, I completed this one, and I do the next one. Okay, when I'm finished, I throw that in the appropriate uh, receptacle, which is usually red, and and then I'm going to, what I do is I kind of squish my fingers like such, so I want to get as much of this soap up as possible. Because let me tell you something, it's very hard to, uh, to get your gloves on when you, if you don't wipe your hands properly and you've got soap all over. So, I've done that, remember I'm going in an upward motion to get the water going down, okay? So now we're ready to gown and glove. 